Let's talk about some fun synth sounds. Here we go. So, what we'll be breaking down today is what you're about to hear right now. I'll play it. Okay, so that's a little piece of it, but we're also going to hear it a couple other places. Give you a little preview of uh, Ready to Be Us there. Um, but what we're, what we're gonna focus on here is that little. So how did we get that sound? That's the secret. So that we're gonna give away here. It's not gonna be a secret anymore. Okay, so we have this sound. We're using it there as a lead, which you'll hear. We're also using it in a different way over here. But this isn't just any normal stock synthesizer. That was actually originally this. Right over here. And even before that, let me make it less weird. So how did we get from there to here? Well, that's what we're gonna show. So we start with that vocal. Just a normal vocal. And then what we do is we throw a bunch of effects on it. We got all this stuff going on. Uh, and really what I'm doing here is a couple things. So first, I'm transposing it up. So even before all the weird stuff, or the extra weird stuff, we've, transpose, we've tran transposed it up a bunch. And then we just start adding in effects that we want. So... So for whatever reason, I actually, I guess I, oh yeah, that's right. So I moved the format down a bunch uh, for this particular track. But to get the sample that we used, I think it was more like this. Um, so we have it pitched up already. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that format up a little bit. So that's getting a little closer. And then it even sounds a little higher than that. So let's go ahead and pitch that up. So that's pretty close. Um, that's pretty close to what we were dealing with. And we also have a few of these other effects on here. There we go. Now that's starting to sound a lot closer uh, to the next step. So what we did is first we pitched it, made it so that it's, you kind of can't tell it's a vocal just because it's pitched so differently. And then we start to move that formant down so it just sounds almost robotic-y, uh, starts to get into that more synth instrument territory. And then we added some distortion, just using Decapitator there. Uh, that's one of my favorite distortion plugins. And then we added an intense microphaser, which is uh, a plugin that just adds a lot of modulation. So it kind of goes like blah, 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 real fast. And that's how we get this. So that's how we get to there. However, we can't play that on a keyboard yet. So what we do next is this nifty little thing. So I'm uh, going to bounce that sample box. There we go. Now it's just those two little regions. I was going to do the whole track for a second. Once we have that set up, I just want that end piece. Pretty much just want this piece as the sample. So I'm gonna cut that, right click it, and convert to new sampler track. That's going to give me a new track. Ah, yes. So we're gonna edit that. We're gonna assign that to a 
D sharp. And we also need to set the low to C1, and high to C6. And that is going to let us now So that's pretty close there. Gonna save that. And then the last thing we did was just add a little bit of, uh, we don't want that completely dry. So again, what we have now is we're just gonna add a little bit of delay And let's do, I think I had it at fourth triple. Usually bring that down a little bit. Whoops, not that much. And this one, 16th dotted. So this uh, this just helps make that even wider on the stereo uh, version of this. So it's kind of bouncing back and forth in addition to doing everything else that we're uh, working with. So now we've got this stereo delay going. So now instead of we've got that. So oops. So now we've we we've got the uh main sound designed for it and then to get it a little bigger we also layered it. So let's just go ahead and record this real quick here. got a little bit of delay going on but uh we'll just fix that here <laughs> quantize it well i don't know what quantize it but i think it's probably a little triplet there yeah and then it's not perfect but whatever so what we do is we copy that we're gonna move all those up, move another set down, and this is just gonna make it so that it's not just on one octave, but now we're, uh, we're making all of those octaves. So. There we go. So now we've got this whole sound. <laughs> I know this is off, but whatever. It's a tutorial. I don't... There we go. Okay. And then in context, we've got... <laughs> it would help if I like, played the music when I recorded that. Uh, but that's how we get the sound. Well, I'll just play along with it. So... That is how you get a cool synth sound where it's not a normal synth. And again, we're using that in the lead synth and we're also using it in this other synth that kind of bounces around a little bit more. Same sound. Just set with an arpeggiator. So that's one way you can make cool little sounds that uh, aren't gonna be as common or you know some of the preset things that you would hear um, and also just adds another cool layer to production because even though it's an instrument, it still started from just me singing a little line and then turned it into something I could play on the keyboard. Um, so that's a little synth sound from Ready to Be Us. It is coming out Friday. Uh, give it a listen. Or if you're listening to this, watching this, there's a video. If you're watching this after Friday, April 24th, Go check it out. I'll put a stream link in the description. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching.